Hey guys, it's me, Ola. Please excuse my strange voice, I've got a flu, it's snowing outside, it's crazy cold in here, so that might be a reason why. But anyway, uh, I have a very cool topic in this video today, because every BlackBerry guy basically loved the BlackBerry Town operating system that was on the BlackBerry Classic, the Leap, the Passport, the Q10, and so on. So, developers now developed an app that brings the BlackBerry 10 OS look and feel on the Android operating system. And there was a guy and he's called Zach and he was very keen that I mention his name in this video because he says it was all because of him that developers started developing this app for the Android operating system. There's actually a, a CrackBerry form thread uh, where it's discussed, the app is discussed and the progress, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box below and I hope I can get uh, many people to try this launcher so they can uh, develop further, so many people try it and leave the feedback and so on. So it's basically an app that mimics the look and feel of the BlackBerry 10 operating system, so uh, how you swipe and how there is the home screen and the quick settings launcher or settings widgets and so on. So I'd say I'll just sit down now and show you the app, how it works, where you can download it and then we'll see us again in less than a second. See you then. So to install the BlackBerry 10 launcher design you go to the Play Store and select or type into the search bar BlackBerry 10 launcher like that. So the second result you'll see is the Synquist launcher, that is what we're looking for. So just click on it and click install. I've already installed it, so I don't have to do that again. Uh, you can go back to your home screen, we'll now find a icon, an icon called Synquist BlackBerry launcher. I'll just click on that one. It will ask me if I want to set this launcher as my default home launcher. So just for the sake of this video, I will click yes, because I don't want to go back into the app every time I want to see the BlackBerry 10 design, so just click yes. And now we're in the settings and we have to add, add change our home app, which is currently on the BlackBerry launcher. Just click on it and select the Synquist BlackBerry launcher. So now once we back out, we're automatically in the theme. So as you can see, it does actually look like the BlackBerry 10 launcher. So you have all those shortcuts down here, which are your phone, the search bar, and your camera. I think it's very similar to the full touch BlackBerry 10 devices. Once you swipe to the right, you see all your apps. Uh, I changed my icons to the BlackBerry 10 icon pack, which you can easily do. I, I did a video on that. So once you do that, it does actually look more like BlackBerry 10 because you have all those app designs, app icons like contacts, your clock, what else, uh, your hub. It all, look, it all looks like on BlackBerry 10. So that's very cool. So you have all your apps, you can change the size and how many you want in a row. Uh, I might have to change that because it doesn't quite fit. But on first sight, it really does look like BlackBerry. So you even get the quick settings that you get on BlackBerry 10. So all your quick shortcuts like settings, rotation log, uh, hotspot, and you even get a bad sight mode, but that is just a quick shortcut. That's because I didn't buy it yet, so I have to get to those uh, kind of uh, difficult but uh, it's not the bad side mode like you get on BlackBerry 10 it's just a quick shortcut to the do not disturb access so well still cool that they implemented all of those features what else can I show you you get special settings for this launcher so if you press settings of course I have to go click that again so if you pay for the app you won't get that um, you get all of those settings, so you can pretty much change everything. So you have the settings of your normal Android phone, you can change the wallpaper, you can change of course the home launcher if we want to go back to the standard BlackBerry launcher. You can change the grid sizes of your programs and shortcuts, so that's very cool. Uh, so if you, if you want uh, maybe more rows or less apps in each row, so you can really make it just as you want, which is kind of cool. So you can even create uh, those widgets. So if I press that plus, oh, it doesn't work again. 
So it does seem to have some hiccups because it doesn't want me to do anything. So let's try those shortcuts down here. So you have the phone app, which just brings up your, your phone. You of course have that search icon. Uh, let's see if that actually works. So let's search for something like Instagram. So that does work. And it also brings me uh, quick shortcuts for search engine, engines like Bing, Google, or Yahoo, which is also kind of cool. And of course we have the camera widget, which lets you choose between Snapchat and the normal camera app. So it does kind of feel like the BlackBerry 10 launcher. Of course it's not as smooth because it's just not the real operating system, but you can get an idea and uh, about how BlackBerry 10 was and that they put a lot of effort into making it look like the BlackBerry 10 operating system. And I think if they develop a bit further and more and more people download the app and try it, it might actually be a very cool fake. So a very cool thing also that they implemented is their idea and their design of the BlackBerry Hub. And you also have the peak and flow, like the peak and flow, I think it was called. So you just swipe up and quickly see how many uh, messages you had and how many missed calls. Uh, that just doesn't seem to work uh, as nicely as it should. Like I don't see any messages and I also see, uh, it also thinks that it's my bell is off and I cannot like peek into the hub. So maybe they'll improve that, but you actually have a BlackBerry hub, at least their BlackBerry 10 hub, on this launcher. Once you swipe right from the outside edge, the left app of the screen, you actually get to their ID, idea of the BlackBerry Hub. I have to blur this out now because it, it only shows phone calls and I don't want to show the numbers. But if I go to text messages, for example, of Facebook, it doesn't actually show any messages. So it seems like that is still in development, but they are actually developing their own hub. Let's see if things work right here. Like, I can clear my notifications. I don't want to do that. And I can also set if I want my messages to be muted and stuff, which is very, very cool. Uh, so it seems like there's a lot of effort that went into this launcher. So on this page next to the home screen, you can add widgets to your home screen uh, I guess that are just widgets let's see if I can add like a crackberry widget which will just be the news so it's not like the multitasking that you got on BlackBerry 10 it will show up on your home screen it's just widgets so I'm not sure if they can even implement uh, those live tiles of the multitasking that would be kind of cool but that is not yet possible but otherwise I think that is pretty much it that are all the things you can do with this launcher. So yeah, you clearly see that it's still in progress, but I think they actually got very far. I, it's much less laggy than I expected at first, uh, and it actually works kind of well. So I really want you to try it out. Leave a comment in the comment section below what you think about the launcher. Uh, and if you think that something like this has a future, and I would really love that you leave your feedback in the comment section below so the person, Zach, who had the idea um, knows what's going on and the developers can change stuff you might want to have changed or can concentrate on stuff that you very like. So I think that's a very cool idea. It's great that people still uh, stay on that topic of BlackBerry 10. Uh, yeah. If you like this video, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with new videos. And I'm very near to 20,000 subscribers and that means there's not going to be another giveaway. So stay tuned for that one. It might just be the next video if you're as fast as that, uh, which will be cool. Make sure you should follow me on my social media channels, Instagram and Twitter and my BlackBerry Messenger channel pin is in the description box below. See you in the next video. I hope to see you again. Until then, bye.